yeah, students now we will see the construction of a cycloid cycloid curve the applications and its importance uh, we have discussed in the class and now we will see the construction of a cycloid curve and uh, here these are the content already uh, we have seen uh, the construction of parabola hyperbola using the eccentricity method as well as ellipse using eccentricity method ellipse using concentric circle method so that is required uh, for our syllabus uh, now we will see the cycloid construction of cycloid in straight line only there are uh, two more uh, types of cycloids epicycloid and uh, hypocycloid those two are uh, actually not required for our syllabus next we will see co the construction of involutes uh, involutes for uh, square pentagon and uh, circle and obviously uh, we are drawing the tangents and normals to all the above curves so uh, we are uh, now starting the construction of cycloid so here uh, you can see the const to construct a cycloid given the diameter is 40 mm uh, of the generating circle so this is the generating circle and the diameter taken to draw this cycloid is 40 mm this is uh, diameter and phi is the symbol for uh, diameter now the circle should be drawn with thin line only once you complete the circle as usual we divide this into 12 equal parts so dividing a circle into 12 parts method already uh, you are all aware and uh, the same method you can follow to draw the cycloid so i am just numbering this i am not giving all the numbers so starting from here this is 1 2 3 3 dash 6 uh, so here this is the 6 dash and obviously this will become 9 dash and this will be 0 or 12 dash so from this 0 point we draw a line so that is equal to pi d and uh, this is the center point for this generating circle and from point a or we can call it as 12 dash and uh, with the pi d with pi d circumference you can calculate perimeter you can calculate and uh, this this will be your uh, 126 mm and this also you can divide into 12 equal parts and uh, form a rectangle so within this rectangle our circle the generating circle is going to roll so i am dividing this line into 12 equal parts as usual so dividing a line into equal number of parts method uh, you can adapt here and this is my 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and, and uh, this will become our 12th point. So A actually this point also will be A only. So just to differentiate the two ends I have given B notation and uh, I am drawing the horizontal lines through each point. So this is 1 and this is our 11th point so from 11th and uh, first point I can have a single horizontal line and from 2 and 10th point I, I have a single horizontal line from point number 3 and 9 I have another uh, horizontal line and uh, point number 4 and 8 I can have one horizontal line and point number uh, 5 and point number 7 I can have one more horizontal line so from 6 already we have drawn the horizontal line so once you draw all these lines once you construct these lines then the method becomes very simple now it is uh, easier very easier method to complete the cycloid and uh, starting from here we are rolling the circle so the circle starts rolling from this point and ends at this point and the path traced by a point so you are marking a point on the circle and that point will uh, trace a path that path is known as cycloid so now to draw that uh, path to trace that path the method is very simple now you mark number of center points so here already we have 12 equal divisions so 12 number of centers we can locate and uh, this is the center line as well this line is coming from 3 dash as well as 9 dash 
also it passes through center so on each line so this is the first line second line from each line we can locate a center a a rolled center now when you take this center now center moves here and the point start rolling so the point here we are marking a point and that will start rolling up to this one line and then if you roll it further if the center moves up here then the point will go and sit on this second line so likewise the point will trace a path that path we are going to draw here so to start with mark number of centers so this is my first line so mark c1 here so this is c1 and uh, this is our uh, second line so c2 c2 and uh, 3 dash is coming uh, at the same place for me so if you if you are getting any uh, deviation or difference that is all that might be correct also uh, no need to worry about it so c2 and this is my c3 c4 and up to c11 we can mark we can mark all the points up to c11 so now i got all the center points and through which my circle will roll right so when it rolls a with uh, an increment from a to 1 the center the center uh, is, is shifting here as well as this point will trace a path will start forming a path so that we are going to see so now the procedure is straightforward and uh, same procedure you have to adapt for all the centers now c1 as center and 20 mm as radius so 20 mm is the radius of this generating circle and take the same 20 mm from c1 c1 draw an arc on first line the line that passes through first point so from c1 c1 as center draw an arc on this line on first line so i have drawn an arc here so this is my point number one double dash so one double dash now same method you have to follow c2 from c2 cut an arc on second line so this is the arc so this is two double dash and this is three double dash and uh, three c3 is my center so this is c4 as center and fourth line draw the arc and four double dash i am getting so this is four double dash five double dash and sixth will come obviously here so the this itself is the radius so no need to cut and uh, cut any arc directly you can uh, locate this as six double dash and uh, seven double dash eight double dash nine double dash ten double dash and eleven double dash so i have got my all my points so starting point is a ending point is b so now path will follow this path they, they will will trace this path so my cow will trace this path so that we have to draw very neatly using french cows only this cow should be thick line only this cow should be thick line it starts from a and ending at b so only this cycloidal cow should be thick line remaining all other lines should be thin lines so now we have constructed the uh, uh, cycloid uh, it is our uh, duty to mark a tangent and normal so that is uh, there in syllabus and uh, locate a point anywhere so locate a point so this is the point i have located so from here the same radius the radius is 20 mm on the center line on the center line cut an arc cut an arc so i am getting here my arc is coming here so no problem you join to c that is it is coming here it is exactly coinciding with uh, c8 if you are getting somewhere uh, some at some other place that is that might be also correct so now from this point from this arc draw a vertical line till it meets the generating line so this is the generating line and mark a point here so this is the line you have to draw so now what i have done is from this point i have cut an arc with the 20 mm radius from that point i have drawn a vertical line till it meets generating line 
so this is the uh, first step once you get a point here on the generating line so that is the line intersecting the generating line and uh, that point intersection point is the origin point for your uh, <coughs> normal so from this point draw a thick line till it meets p and you can extend it further also and tangent to this line 90 degree line 90 degree line to normal that will become your tangent so this is your tangent tt is the tangent and the pm is the normal so this is the uh, procedure very simple and uh, whereas epicycloid and hypo hypocycloid are not there in your syllabus and a similar method you can follow on code generator so this is a, here generator is a, a straight line whereas in case of ap and hypocycloid we are uh, going to perform this procedure on circ on uh, semi circle on, uh, on on curvature cur curved line and curve so that that is not there in syllabus so that we are uh, excluding so that is the construction of cycloid so cycloid alone should be thick line remaining all other lines should be thin lines your normal tangent should be drawn with thick lines so that is the uh, procedure you you have to follow this procedure to complete cycloid thank you